You might guess that when the medicine ball is thrown upwards from the moving truck, it will fly out the back, but it doesn't. Okay, a few important details. First, horizontal and vertical motion are independent. They do not affect each other. Second, Newton's first law of motion tells us that the ball will continue to do what it is already doing unless a force changes that motion. A book slid across a table does not stop because you stopped pushing. It stops because friction forces it to stop. So since the ball is already moving horizontally with the truck, it's going to keep moving with the truck unless something forces it not to. Does anything do that? Once the ball is released, the only horizontal force on the heavy medicine ball is some air resistance, and at that slow speed, there is no match for the mass of the medicine ball. This is why the medicine ball continues to move forward with the thrower. Nothing forced it to stop moving forward. So then why did the tennis ball fly back? It didn't actually fly back, it just slowed down a lot. It has much less mass, so the force of air resistance can slow it down a lot more than the medicine ball. This means that the ball is now traveling slower than the truck and it gets left behind. 